Hi guys welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you the best and the worst aspect of some of my favorite K-pop girl groups in my opinion. I am not making this to drag the artists but to try to give a constructive criticism. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let's start. ITZY's biggest strength is undeniably their choreographies. Ever since Dalla Dalla they managed to show us the potential they have as dancers and their choreographers really know how to make that aspect glowing. Their dance breaks are always the highlighted parts in which you can always find that ITZY touch that never gets boring. However something that is in need to change is that their company always put the spotlight on one member each era and tend to put apart the other girls. For Dalla Dalla it was Yeji, for IC it was Yuna, for Wannabe Ryujin and not Shilia. If they are going to continue with that comeback formula my hopes would be that the next era will be owned by Chiriyang so she'll have her time to shine. And then coming back with a track that doesn't favoritism any member. I myself think sometimes that a certain member owns a certain era but with it Z the other girls are left neglected which doesn't sit right with me. I'm not gonna sit there and pretend that TWICE doesn't have great dancers or singers but for me what makes me so attached to them is their personalities and teamwork. They have known each others for so long and as someone who watched 16 you can see how much they care about each other and in some ways it really pays off when they're on stage. Each member has this unique sparkle that brings so much life and creativity to the group which leads me to say that they have one of the best chemistry in girl groups if not the best. I could have said their worst aspect is rapping but no. What TWICE really needs right now is a one year break. These girls didn't have a single time to relax since they debuted and especially around 2018 they looked more tired than ever. JYP overworking their artists is nothing new but they really went too far with TWICE. That's truly one thing I want for them and hopefully when they'll come back it will be with two comeback a year including Japanese releases maximum. JYP watch out because girl we won't hesitate to track you down. Luna has the best discography in K-pop by far in my opinion. Almost all of their b-sides are better than their group title tracks. They have this sound in which I can feel that Luna vibe that I can't find anywhere else in other groups which is why I love their music so much. When I say their discography I also think about their subunit songs that are simply golden. Luna is one of these groups that can come across any types of music so even if you don't stand them you will eventually have at least one song that will fit your music preferences. Rap is obviously the aspect they are lacking in the most. I'll have to be honest their rappers aren't really good they are more talking fast than actually rapping. They are one of these groups that doesn't need any rap part in their songs but their producers still manage to include some. Most of the time lead or sub rappers are a part of the dance line and can't sing very well which is why they have this position but. With Luna we've seen their singing capabilities through their solos which is why I don't understand the necessity of their rap parts. What makes Blackpink the international popsters they are today is their concept. People who are not specifically fan of K-pop recognize them as the girl group who has fun songs to dance and doesn't sound childish which I don't agree in a way because only a few K-pop artists have quote unquote childish songs but anyways. That is what they are known for and that is also the biggest trend right now in term of songs. If Blackpink would only release cute songs like Ice Cream or As If It's Your Last there is no way that their success would be as huge as right now. G Idol's vocal line is out of this world. There isn't a single bad vocalist in the group but the main three are simply mesmerizing. We have Minnie with a dreamy unique tone of voice. Mian with powerful and stable vocals and Yuki with a deep voice handled with a good technique. Their tones are really different but at the same time they mix so well together which is why you can always find that specific harmony that you never get tired of hearing in every single one of their songs. I'm being honest Idol's choreographies are really bad. Overall they aren't really consistent in therm of dancing which might be why their choreographies are that simple or may I say bland. Hua's choreography reminded me of Pretty Savage which is really not a good thing but the thing that gets on my nerves the most is why is there always someone at the back covered by another member. When you look at their disposition you can even think that it was originally made for a 5 girl group member. 
That is honestly the only improvement I could give to them. Red Velvet are known for their versatility. They can easily switch concepts and go from cute to sexy to girl crush to creepy and to every single concept actually. This content change makes you excited to see what will be their next music direction because you can never anticipate what will be next. Standing Red Velvet is never getting bored of their songs without mentioning their flawless discography. However there is one thing that Red Velvet didn't have the chance to have. A good company. SM mistreatment towards Red Velvet is so obvious compared to their male artists or even Espa a two months old girl group with a music video that has a higher budget than all of the Red Velvet ones at the same time. Anyways. It seems like SM doesn't give a flying fuck about Red Velvet even though they are the group with the most potential in the company to make them earn money. Without mentioning the quality of Red Velvet's physical album Miss Girl We Don't Want Your Jewel Cases. I find Averglo's rappers incredibly good and I might go as far to say that they have my favorite girl group rap line. In their songs the part I always find myself enjoying the most are EU's and Asia's ones. They have this flow that matches so well the Everglow Girl Crush type of sound which makes the song even better. They are definitely some better rapper in the industry but most of the time it's only one member in the group. However here with Everglow we have these two that complete each other really well that makes them one of the best girl group rap line out there. I'm not saying that Everglow got bad vocalists far from that, but I don't think they are especially outstanding. I feel like they tend to more focus on the choreography and to produce hit sound instead of showing their vocals. I am really not an expert in singing so that's all I'm gonna say for this one. How ironic is it to see that Espa biggest strength is their company right? Well it's pretty obvious that SM is giving their everything for Espa to be a successful group. Just look at their music video for Black Mamba it screams budget everywhere. The girls has the chance to be new in this industry and since Red Velvet are on their way to be an existent they are having all the privileges which I'm not blaming the girls for far from that. It's actually a really good thing for them because they are on their way to lead the fourth gen along with it Z. Hum. I don't wanna get political but I'm curious to see who came up with the virtual members idea. Thank god so far we've only seen them on the screen a few time and not actually having lines but oh my god this is so wrong in so many ways. They just showed that they really don't care about music anymore and that it's all about appearances. Even the girls themselves said that they were uncomfortable next to their robot version because they are designed perfectly with the perfect toxic beauty standards. I just hope they will continue to be useless in the group because Espa doesn't need these weird ass animations in the group. CLC are excelling in every single aspect. The vocalists are insane, the rappers are powerful and the dancers are the best in the industry, yes I said it. It is pretty scary to see how they are lacking in zero categories because even their discography is amazing. Their choreography are pretty good, literally everything is on point, that's all I have to say. Just like Red Velvet Cube Entertainment is the biggest problem. They got a really little amount of content and opportunities as well as their promotions that they have to pay themselves, their mistreatment is so unfair it really hurts. By the way Elky girl we'll never forget you I hope you're doing well.